guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, hi, my name is Suloko Solutions. I film about faith, family, business, and lifestyle from Canada. And if you're new here as well, this is my husband. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Gwen Gadi Juma. <laughs> Why have you been on the channel? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because I've I, like, it's been a while. I've been making money. <laughs> Because okay. literally since that video of us, I think talking about the spiritual part of relocation, mm -hmm. you haven't actually had a sit down with me. I'm not, well, they've not, they said they, they don't want to have me at the channel. Lies only. But guys, please bombard him in the comments and let him know that you appreciate when he's here so that maybe that will ginger him to keep coming back. Perhaps. Words of affirmation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as you can tell by the title, in today's video we're talking about submission, not suppression. And this is a hot topic because my Instagram has been blowing up off this it topic. Took. <laughs> so if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to leave the link here. Go follow me to the Open Solutions. But I got this DM and I'm going to put it on the screen. So take like one minute to read it before you continue the video, okay? So for this auntie, she's actually still in the relationship and that's why it's sweet to me to talk about. If you don't know, I actually love like marital talks better than marriage talks because it's so sacred. It's like, mm, mm, even though God is telling me that auntie go, I sent you, but oh joy, we'll do everything. But yeah, babe, what's your opinion? So this is a lady who, she's about to get married, the guy has been sweet, but recently he's been pulling the cards off, save me with your all. I want you to follow me and obey me in all things Hello, Jesus Christ. <laughs> i'm not tired so follow me as i follow jesus as i follow the father but yeah what if that's like where it's coming from <laughs> that's not where it's coming from i'm happy you said that but that's what, what's your take on this day before we even go into like the the broad topic i mean i've like like a lot of people know i've i have been in church for pretty much all my life and i have seen people like this hmm. who take their inadequacies, they take their shortcomings, they take their character flaws and they hide it under scriptures, under mm. spirituality. My brother sir, you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> if nobody has told you before sir, you have a problem. And only God can, can save, you. save you. It is marriage, not slavery. Mm. I mean, except two agree on a matter. Yeah. It is, Husband leaves his father and cleaves to his the wife. wife. Did he say husband will leave the father and I take slave yeah. of the wife? Remember, when you cleave to your wife, you check the genome of, of cleave. You be you two become one. Mm. If two become one, then how can half in quote say serve me? Like go, obey me with your all. Like that one got me. Like serve me. I'm like no. All wrong now. If we were to take a cue from the way Jesus loves the church, mm. you would know that Jesus literally placed him his, himself give up his life for the church right he's he calls the church his bride meaning he did all the things he did was so that the church could could thrive so that you and i could have life abundantly jesus paid the ultimate price he served you know washed the feet of his disciples he yeah. wasn't ordering them around and that's the example we are following if anybody amongst you wants to be great let me put the scripture <laughs> let him i think you understand me now yeah. so you see that the the logic is flawed. It's coming from a place, a manipulative place, a place <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. Babe, as you were talking, and this is not even for camera sake. I feel like this is one leadership trait that you have in particular. Mm -hmm. Be, mm, mm -hmm. mm, mm, let me just put your own small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Being a servant leader is something that my husband does a lot. Like sometimes I feel like it's too much. Sometimes I'm like, no, tell us that. This is how it will go. Finish. But like, it really wants input on everything. It wants me to. Okay, so what's your take on this? No, like contribute for us and all of that. Like, I'm telling you that sometimes I'm like, is he actually just trying behind this? I mean, is he hiding behind this to just make me do all the decisions? <laughs> But obviously, I know that's not right because yeah. I also know that when it's time to pull uh, your okay position, you do so. And then even with house chores, I feel like this is another topic for another day. But just know that in that one, it's like a hundred. What's that material? I hate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But in that particular one, Sha, collect your crown. Thanks, sir. Take it. Thanks. So like him saying all those things, I was blushing because this is actually the way he like takes on the leadership of our home and i feel like for the lady now if somebody is already giving you that vibe then don't do it i was sharing the story of one of my exes on insta story 
DX is for you. <laughs> and he was like, don't jab me in church when they're saying Proverbs 31 woman. You watch your own self. Let me watch Perhaps. my own self. So I feel like when people start to focus on your own shortcomings, they'll try to take over and like rule your life. And for the woman, that is not where you want to be. Right after that, I actually got another DM of someone saying that they're planning the wedding in six months. And our husband too is like that. He will say, tie, like I've never seen that scripture before in the Bible. That as you tie something on the neck of a, of a, <laughs> like if I let me go be dragging you, that the guy will refer to Proverbs 31 and just so that she doesn't have anything, the decisions of the wedding or anything, whatever you say and all of that. And I feel like that is so wrong. That is a fundamental relationship issue for one. Like, mm -hmm. let's say it as it is. So for the lady or the ladies who are in those shoes, if you have conversations with this person and the person isn't like saying, okay, I will change or let me seek help in this. Or, okay, I've acknowledged it. And then you watch that they are actually not pretending by the leading of the Holy Spirit. You watch they're actually making significant changes that you can say, okay, this is what I feel. Let's reach a level of compromise. Mm. Let the color be green instead of yellow. And the person actually agrees. Then you can now work on, okay, maybe this can work. But if the person carries on with this attitude, I asked the lady, how many years do you have? How many legs do you have? Carry your shoes on your leg and run. Mm -hmm. Because that person is going to manipulate your entire life, your children's life, and you won't have any say. Mm -hmm. Literally, you just be like a figurehead and a slave, like you said. Mm -hmm. So that's for the married, um, the singles. Now, bringing it into marriage, let's even talk about the practicality of this. Like, some people are already in these shoes. I, like, I had a conversation with someone already about this that it seems as though her voice is too loud in her home. It seems as though she cannot say anything. Her husband will be, you know, and I had to ask some questions from a healthy relationship. For sure, relationship coach. Not yet. I'm not there yet. Okay. Sorry. We had to ask some questions, like, just for my passion of a healthy relationship. I had to ask some fundamental questions that I thought, you know, might be the reason. And she was just like, you know what, I'm done. I had to refer her actually to a relationship counselor to even seek her own sanity first mm -hmm. and then pray that the husband can come along, you know. Mm -hmm. Depending when we collect our own degree. <laughs> <laughs> but what is your take on it? I mean, Apostle Paul didn't get married in the Bible for his own personal reasons, but even the man that didn't get married, you know, in Ephesians 5.25, I think, there were, admonishing us, he said, husbands, love your wives yep. as Christ loved the church. You cannot love somebody, sir, or man, and now say you want to rule over them in quotes you want to be you know lord over them go and check all the leaders past leaders in africa that have been dictators mm. it wasn't out of a place of love it was out of mm. a, it was out of a selfish ego chicken that was the intention yeah. when you see love go and go and read what love is it's in the scriptures a detailed breakdown of what love should be if you claim that you love me love is this love is patient love is kind love is this love is not you, if I if you're not if you're if not my way nobody no will. way my way or the I way <laughs> no that's not love so that already begs the question do you actually if the person claims they love you ask them do you really love me because there is a there is a template for mm. love God is love right yeah. when we mess up God I, I don't know anybody that God will literally bring Cain physically to come and flog do you get like God gives us second chances God listens to us. You get even when we're not in right standing with him, yeah. he's accommodating. He you get so if God, Baba God himself, is like that, Damba, Damba. yeah. And I like that you're giving us like the healthiest and the like most eternal, you know, foundation of it all because that's even the basis of marriage, right? Yeah. The God who created marriage that was the template he, he made. And this is not to say that there will be some times that you make selfish de decisions. And I like how you actually said, Sir or Ma, mm. because it might seem like a a uh, masculine thing but i know that a lot of women yep. try to also guilt trip their husbands into submitting or into not even submitting to into my own will my own will exactly so i mean that is very profound but before we move forward i want to actually define both words submission and suppression submission says yielding to the will of a person or authority suppression means the act of keeping something from happening right so i mean here submission is saying you yield to the will of a person so are you saying that because i mean the bible still encourages us to submit to one another yes. here with those cells not submit to your wife 
submit to one another and love one another. That's the one we take <laughs> and we love to use. Am I right? Absolutely. So, but here, yeah, submission, submission is telling us that submitting to the will of one another. Yes. So, how do you put that? Because that also seems like in English, as if it's like, okay, Bemi, Bemi God said this. That's what I'm going to do. Right. So, so how do you now put the English dictionary? Maybe this is what these men are saying, mm-hmm. right? So how do you put that into the yeah. healthy and I mean, holy? That's that's a very good question, um, and it's one of the things I love about I love about the Bible. Um, as you Enjoy both know, source, okay. <laughs> it's it's one of the things I love about the Bible, and as you know, we're both Bible believing people. It's the fact that you know the Bible is complete. Yeah. You know, when, when when the scriptures say that husbands love your wives and um, wives. that's Apostle Paul and um, wives submit to your husbands, I, f- I feel like obviously we know all scriptures are inspired by the Holy Ghost, you know, written and passed down and all of that. So I feel like the Holy Spirit already knew that conversations like this would come up. Mm. That was why he didn't say husbands accommodate your wives or husbands tolerate your wives or husbands suppress your wives. Mm. It says love and I think that precedence <laughs> sorry even here's the that precedence speaks volumes. Um because the, the very next you know phrase is wives submit to your husbands. God made us, he made man, male, female, he made them. Meaning God understands our anatomy. He understands how men would typically think, he understands how women would typically think, right? Yeah. And the reason I'm laying all of this foundation is because if the first criteria, which is love, uh-huh. is ticked, uh-huh. submission now becomes a, a, a thing of, um, I'm trying to look for the right word now, you know, submission becomes a, a much, it, it becomes something symbiotic, mm-hmm. permit me to use that, yeah. something that is mutually beneficial, something that is not, I'm not submitting to you because you lauded it over me, I'm mm-hmm. submitting to you because you love me, I love you. We have an understanding and I respect you, so therefore I am willing to to you know to let go of my own ego to for us to move forward, you yeah. know, for us to achieve stuff, for us to make decisions. Do you understand the logic yeah. here? He started that conversation with husbands, love your wives as Christ loved if you this is a sermon. Mm. It's a two-hour teaching mm. that if we enter it now, we cannot finish on time. I don't open you to channel. <laughs> I said, "Look at this story, you to channel." <laughs> because that phrase alone in itself is deep. Yeah. He, he, no, he, he didn't stop at love your wives. Love your wives as Christ. Mm. So the bar has been raised. Mm. Men were supposed to love our wives the same way Christ loved the church. I can promise you and you've heard even non-christians say it that love is the answer love is the key anybody that ticks that first box will never have any reason to say my wife did not submit hey you never heard, you heard it here first it's, you heard the man quote me anywhere it can never <laughs> be done if you tick that first box sir it is almost automatic except if it's not devil that you the person marry. I don't now know, but a normal sensible person. Yeah. If you tick that first box, sir, we won't even be having this conversation. Yeah. Will, there will be no need to be oh, submit to me. It Ooh. will just happen. Na- it's, a, it's, a, it's a matter of cause and effect. Mm. If the cause is there, the effect of loving your wife as the as Christ loved the church is submission. Mm. It will and, come yeah. naturally. Mm. Thank you for that. And I feel like this is why when you hear people say, "Oh, I'm submitting to my husband not because I don't have my own, you know, reasoning," it's because they have come to a place of compromise from a place of being loved rightfully, mm-hmm. right? So it's a case of, and I feel like the balance here is I'm not now waiting for my husband to show me love mm. before I submit, like. Mm. It's the knowing for me, the knowing that this man is not doing it from a selfish place. Mm-hmm. The knowing that, okay, him asking us to, you know, do this is not because he's being selfish or he doesn't want to hear my own opinion. Mm-hmm. So, when that, and I hope I make it sense. Yeah, <laughs> when, <laughs> so, when that, you know, understanding that I know that he loves me is there, 
right through his actions through his words through whatever love language it is that you guys operate on the frequencies of right then it's easy for you both to say okay we're reaching a place of compromise mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so that is very good and something else i'm going to say when you were talking i remember something i've been seeing on social media recently actually about like how a woman is like um a queen you will get the best of a woman if she's being loved right or something mm -hmm. like that like it was a deep like two slides thread but what i want to actually say you know i like to bring it home is like recently actually i think two days ago my husband came to the kitchen like around dinner time and he was like i have a confession to make the fruit bowl you bought you brought me during my working hours was a love language i felt it it lightened up my mood and i'm just here like how kind how kind i'll take it and that made me feel really good like the feedback right but one thing that i'm actually now just telling your camera is you actually sent me a message during the course of the day before that do you remember you don't remember well you sent me a message a midday text and I oh yeah, said, yeah, 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 yeah right yeah, yeah. it's like how would you remember ah, <laughs> like it sent me a midday text like out of the blue something that touched my heart and like melted it and even though that was not what i was waiting for i feel like even if that text didn't come maybe i would have still given you the full bowl right mm -hmm. but that also had already laid the precedence of whatever you want sir like start the ground here you are uh, start take it what the ground? <laughs> literally so i you know i didn't tell you really because i'm like let me not give too much accolades <laughs> so <that's>, wow <laughs> sorry <laughs> but now you're hearing it right so i feel like it's important that it's an understanding men need to have, especially. Yeah. Except the woman now too is the devil yep. who has selfish intentions, yep. who is choosing not to, you know, want her marriage to be led mm -hmm. and you know by things of God, then she can now be using the submission against the man. Yeah. You know. But in a case where, like you said, both are like symbolic. <laughs> <laughs> In a case where both are like, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> is the Canada accent for me? Okay, it's the Canada. It's Canada, for me. yes. So, in a case where both parties are like symbolically loving each other, right? I feel like it just becomes like bread and butter. Yep. So, before we wrap up and in that light, I just want to give like practical examples of like how to differentiate suppression. I'm swimming with you. You miss swimming with me? Yeah. Oh, is you now? You're always busy. That's not true. Continue. Oh. As a thing had to probably be seen, it sounds like she's shouting like that. Anyway, I was saying that I'll bring the game off. I promise. Okay. I promise. Anyway, I was saying thank you though. I appreciate the support. I was saying that, literally saying it now. Mm. Um, we just want to give some practical examples of suppression from submission as it relates to marriage and I feel like for relationships I kinda of touched on it how it's like no. Wedding color is green. You can't tell me that pink is your favorite color from childhood. Green from the days of you know, my grandmother. It never. They changes. are going to have a joint account, and that is fine now. You don't want to hear that the girl has stop it, babe, stop. You don't want to hear that the girl has like trauma from her childhood or what she had seen and stuff like that, right? But in the context of marriage, can you give us like two examples of suppression, and I'll maybe give two examples of submission or one of suppression, one of submission. Okay, um, maybe. Um, I might not have the perfect examples, but suppression would be something like um, the wife comes to meet the husband and says, Oh, babe, um, there is this training that I want to go for next weekend um, that I think would really help my career, you know, um, blah, 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 blah. And then the guy goes, No, you're not going. He doesn't know where. He doesn't. No details, just no. And maybe the reason he's even saying it is because maybe he has a game he wants to go and watch with the boys on that. On that day, and he doesn't want the wife to be out of the house, you know, to be with the kids. So, I he mean, has trust issues. Oh, he has trust issues. Do you get me? So it's, it's uh -huh. that's I'm also pressure vibes. Uh -huh. Something, <laughs> but like I said, it might not be the perfect example. No, but submission will be will be something like you know she says the same thing, and it's like oh okay oh that's that's great, but babe you know I already had an event scheduled for that day prior. And then she's like, oh I'm so sorry I forgot. You know what? I would actually check with the coordinator and see if I can catch the next week batch and blah 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 blah. Oh thank you so much babe. And then the later that night the guy comes and says, you know what? Nah it's nothing, it's just a game. I can always take home. And then the lady's like, oh no 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 it's okay. 
That kind of thing. Like, you know, like outflow. Or Everybody or... wants to have love each other. Mm. Which is boring here. So the thing, yeah. everybody's trying to love yeah. each other more than they love each other. I don't know if that makes any <laughs> sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that makes a lot of sense. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like basic everyday example for me will be submission will be a place of my husband saying, "Babe, I actually feel like eating indomie and salmon <laughs> with three <tea> lives <laughs> and egg and plantain, and I'm here <laughs> tired from a long day, and I'm just like, oh, I'm so sorry, babe. We're just going to warm." The coconut rice I made last weekend in the coconut fridge. Coconut rice, <laughs> my God! And it's like, okay, no problem. We need to eat it another day, right? But from that place, I see that ah, this person actually, you know, puts me in consideration. Some days I'm like, thank you so much, I appreciate it, and that's it. He eats mm-hmm. the coconut rice. It doesn't mean that I'm not submissive. Mm-hmm. Do you get? It just means that he is loving enough to also understand my standpoint. Right now, if you now want to put submission in practical terms, would be even if whether or not I've even said I can't do it, is the fact that I'll not say, you know what, babe, I'm going to give you what you actually deserve or what you want. And then in my tired, knackered mommy stage, working mom stage, I still get up and go and make it. And then he's happy, he's like, ah, bad one, yeah. that's what I was like. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's his line every time you he finishes it. You don't put me out like that, bad one, yeah. <laughs> right? And then it's so in my head, he's like. If I didn't make it, everyone would not fall down. You get, but because there is that, like you said, thing of out giving each other going on, I am also willing to put in the work, mm-hmm. and that's mm-hmm. and that's a period. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have any closing words for us? Um, I'm, I'll just say to because obviously I, I don't know the, the full details behind the messages you got you know i'll just say you know please um let's let's not ignore the warning signs um, and sometimes the warning signs are not there to maybe say okay i'm not doing it again go away they're sometimes there to just like initiate conversations mm-hmm. conversations that you think you might not need to have but is they're very important conversations to have yeah. before signing the agreement mm-hmm, mm-hmm. do you understand there are things that you should discuss bring it you never know really so like don't don't ignore the warning signs because once you sign the agreement and you're in the marriage fully i feel like the the willpower to do to do more might be less i don't know if that makes sense that makes it you know so please just make sure that you don't ignore the warning signs and if you're already in it um i am a very strong believer that there's nothing god cannot change or heal you know as long as the two people involved are willing to also put in the work Mm -hmm. so you know i have seen people change and I, i have also not I've also seen people not, not change. change, so yeah. it, it really depends on, on you yeah. guys. But I pray for you that you know Amen. if you're in that situation, God will help you, give you wisdom Amen. on how to you know to find a way around it and to make the marriage great again. I Amen. Mean, Amen. Thank the you Holy so Spirit much. is there. Amen. So I am a huge fan of counseling, therapy, couples counseling. Seek help. Seek unbiased help. You know, yes, it's good to ask your pastor or somebody who knows you, but they're professionals. If you now say a professional even loves God, like. That mm, we're coming, but <laughs> you cannot overemphasize the power of therapy and seeking help for your marriage. Don't let anybody shame you. Yes, it's great to tell your pastor, but unbiased. That unbiased. I don't know two of you from nowhere. I only know God <laughs> and the way He said it should be done. So that is important. And I also like to say to the singles here, don't settle. After I said all those things on Instagram, and also a thread of um. Um, tell me when you knew he loved you and people were commenting different things and in my head I had to post it and say see how your mates have been loved mm. <laughs> you know yeah, see how your mates have been loved for me I mean it's easy hey. to say you know, I'm just managing my head worse but guess what but there is better out yeah. there somebody sent me a message saying that she suppressed herself because she was she suppressed herself not even the guy suppressing her because she was dating an older guy and i'm like girl you don't she likes to talk so she said that whenever she's around him she would just like be mute, be mute just so that he will not say and i'm like no guess what there is somebody praying for you to come into his life yep. somebody who wants a talker yep. <laughs> like you into his life so why would you now yep. suppress yourself and guess what the beautiful part of it is you have the power now that you're single to make that decision not to settle because once you go and manage <laughs> marriage is for life and destiny marriage not manage mm. 
How's it? I don't. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you guys get the picture. So now that you're single, it's the time to actually make the most of your, you know, decision powers. Mm -hmm. There's something like that. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. So with that, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And if this has blessed you, you have to subscribe. Please. On the count of three. Yeah. yeah. Subscribe is that button. One, two, three. Thank you. Subscribe, share with your single and married friends and let us know if you have any other video ideas you'd like for us to talk about. I've spoken about the chores and stuff. I know somebody is, is going to comment that but I've noted that but if there's any other thing you want us to talk about in the context of dating or marriage and all of that please put it in the comment section below give this video a like if you would like to see pastor g back here <laughs> let him know rush him in the comment section there's so another that i said that he misses filming let me quickly rush him too <laughs> anyway i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching bye decision probably send me more we are more i will correct you Correct. Uh, the context, like decision prowess. I yeah, think we are correct. One gets many. Oh yeah, thumbnail. Thumbnail is funny. We're going to do submission. Suppress, suppress, suppress. Let me see. Suppress. No. I go for B. <laughs> no, it's for thumbnail. Be valid. Even I go for B. Even do, do it. <laughs> You gotta be smiling when you're struggling so much. I'm not a strangler. <laughs> uh, okay, so what's your best suppression act? Suppression. <laughs> <laughs> this is the we long. <laughs> I'm stop from my body when I'm filming. Sorry. <laughs> How you do? Suppress okay, submission. Let me need that. I can't need that like this. I have to do the portrait one, right? Mm. I just stop it. This is my technology of more reach up. And I'm a huge fan fan <laughs> so, <laughs> stop 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 stop. This battery is in there. Sorry. Okay.